Hi children, welcome to class today. Today we will learn solve problem involving space. Look at example 1. Zadik designed an ornamental fish pond by composing two shapes. He will build a fence around the pond. What is the length of the fence? Okay, first understand the problem. Okay, we have a shape composition of rectangle and a regular octagon. Okay, so we have to find the length of the fence around the pond. Okay, first mark the length of the outer sides of the pond. Then add the length of all outer sides to find the length of the fence. Okay, to solve Okay, the length of the fence okay, equals to length of the outer sides of the rectangle pond plus length of the outer sides of the regular octagon pond. Okay, so when you add up, the total length of the outer side of the rectangle will be 52 meter and the total length of the outside and the total length of the outer sides of the regular octagon will be 56 meter. Okay, so 52 meter plus 56 meter, your answer will be 108 meter. So the length of the fence is 108 meter. Okay, example 2. Jaffrey sketches the parts of a wooden block to be cut. The sketch will be in the shape of a cuboid. Calculate the volume of the wooden block after being cut. Okay, to solve the problem, first we need to find the volume of the original wooden block. Identify the length, breadth, and the height of the original wooden block. Okay, so the volume of the original wooden block will be 23 cm. Multiply 16 centimeter, multiply 18 centimeter. Okay, so we will get 6,624 cubic centimeter. Now find the volume of the cuboid to be cut. Okay, the length will be 14 centimeter, breadth will be 16 centimeter, and height will be 14 centimeter. So 14 centimeter multiply with 16 centimeter multiply 14 centimeter, we will get 3136 cubic centimeter. Okay, so to find the volume of the wooden block after being cut, we need to minus. So 6624 cubic centimeter minus 3136 cubic centimeter. Okay. So the volume of the wooden block after being cut is 3,488 cubic centimeter. Example 3. Dad wants to build a brick footpath in the house compound as shown in the diagram. He has allocated 4,000 ringgit for this. The cost of the building 1 square meter bricks footpath is 100 ringgit. Is there enough money? Okay, first we have to find the total area of the food parts. Okay, label food parts A and food part B. Okay, so area of the food part A will be 6 meter multiply 4 meter, that is 24 square meter. Area of food part B, 2 meter multiply 4 meter, that, that will be 8 square meter. Total area of Foot parts A and B is equals to area of foot part A plus area of foot part B. So 24 plus 8, we will get 32 square meter. Now, the total cost of the foot part will be total area of foot part A and B multiplied with the cost of 1 square meter brick foot part okay so 32 okay the total area is 32 multiplied with 100 ringgit we will get 3200 ringgit 
Okay, so the money allocated is 4,000. Okay, is that enough? Okay, yes. That only have to use 3,200 ringgit out of 4,000 ringgit. So the money allocated by that is enough to build the bricks footpath. Okay class, that's all for today.